Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can figure out your router's yeah, your router's password. Uh, the reason why I'm creating this video is uh, I used I used to have a, a router that's connected to my modem. For some reason, I couldn't see it, and I figured it out. So hopefully, this video will help you out. So first thing, I'm using Mac computer. Um, so I'm gonna go here. Click on uh, Wi-Fi on your Wi-Fi. And you will see the list of the list of Wi-Fi that are in in your area. So, and there is my. I know this is um this has to be my router. As you can see, it used to have uh my own username and password. It looks like everything changed the password and username. Um, so I'm gonna find out what my password is. So I'm gonna click on it. So I'll be connected to my router. And the next thing that I'm going to do is open a, your web browser. Browser. I'm using Google Chrome. So on the address bar, I'm going to type 192.168.1.1. Enter. So it's going to bring me this page. At first, if you type 192, 192 uh, if you typed 192.168.1.1, and if you didn't see this page, what, what you need to do is, um, if you didn't see this page, what will happen is uh, you'll, get a, you'll get a page or um, something like you have to enter a password and username. So in that case, it will be the username and the password will be a default password and uh, username which is admin admin so for a username you type admin and for um, password you type admin and then you will come to this page so once you are on this page all you have to do is you click on wireless up there and then wireless security so as you can see, the reason why I couldn't see uh, my router's name in that Wi-Fi list, and uh, uh, the reason why I couldn't see it, and and it is with, w without a password, is for some reason it, it it it's disabled. So I'm gonna go there and enable it. And the way you enable it is by choosing uh, what type of password. Uh, options that you want to use so I'm gonna make it personal WPA personal there it is so I'm not gonna change anything so I'm gonna type my own password right there so after you typed your password all you have to do is save settings and then it will reset itself so that was taking a long time. I kind of stopped it. Um, what I'm gonna do is go back to that Wi-Fi, the list of Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna click on my router again. So it's gonna ask me ask me for the password. I've already set up a password, so I'm gonna type my password. So I typed my password, and now I typed my password, and now I'm gonna hit join. Uh, let me just try to open a new page and there it is so as you can see I'm connected to the internet and my router is secure you, you see that you see that uh, lock next to my Wi-Fi so that means my router is secure maybe in the next video I'll I'll show you how you can change your router's username. Alright, thanks. Hopefully this helps.